Hi, if you're watching for the first time, I'm Mark Perry, the creator of Built Lean, which is your simple, efficient, and science-based guide to fitness. Did you know that increasing your grip strength is one of the fastest ways that you can increase your strength? And that lack of grip strength is associated with poor health? I was speaking with my friend Jason Kapnick, who is a successful powerlifter, and he shared with me some words of wisdom I want to share with you today. First, you will never be stronger than your hands. Second, if you can't hold it, you can't lift it, which I think is pretty powerful, actually. Uh, so how do you increase your grip strength? Today, I'm going to share with you a hand gripper I've been using called Captains of Crush, which I believe can help you improve your grip and overall body strength quite substantially. Captains of Crush grippers were made by Iron Mines in the early 90s as an alternative to the plastic grippers your dad probably had when you were growing up. They're made of aircraft grade aluminum and the handles are knurled, which means that they feel like metal sandpaper to maximize grip. They come in 11 different options, although the most popular core grippers are the number one, number two, number three, and number four, which range uh, in pressure from 140 pounds of pressure to close all the way to 365 pounds of pressure. And the number four has only been closed by five people in the world. Uh, it's not, not exactly easy. So which one should you buy? Iron Mind, the maker of Captains of Crush, recommends a practice gripper which to warm up your hands that you can close, and then a goal gripper, which is the gripper you're trying to close. For men, I recommend the trainer to start, and that's going to be your practice gripper, although in the beginning it might be tough to close. And then the number one is going to be your goal gripper. Number one requires 140 pounds of pressure, and the trainer, let me actually show you here, the trainer is 100 pounds of pressure. You can see the T on the bottom, and then you can also see the number one on the bottom, which I have in my hand right here, the number one. Now, if, if you're looking to really increase your grip strength and get to the next level, you can go for the number two, which requires 200 pounds of pressure. For women, you can start out with the guide, which is about 60 pounds of pressure, and then move to the sport as your goal gripper, which requires 80 pounds of pressure to close. I do want to also mention that if you have soft hands and you want to keep soft hands, these grippers are definitely not for you. Um, they're definitely going to be tough on your hands. Uh, so that is, ho I hope, fair warning. OK, so actually, how do you actually close them? We know which ones you want to buy. So keep in mind, there have literally been books written about grip strength. And there's even a book written about how to close Captains of Crush grippers. I'm going to share with you just a few quick tips. The first is where you hold the gripper in your hand is really important to help you close it properly. You want the right leverage. So you want to kind of start out with the gripper a little bit higher than you'd imagine in your palm. And you don't want it to be too low on your hand. Also, you want your pinky to be very close to the bottom of the gripper. You don't want it to be too high up. You want to get the most leverage. So you can actually use your other hand to kind of close it a little bit, get it in place, and then you can squeeze it all the way closed and you can hold it for a second. The idea is you want to close the metal handles completely together and touch them, and that is a, a, uh, that's a close. Second, in order to close these effectively, you just need to practice. The more you practice, the better you're going to be. So I recommend doing, let's just say, five closes a couple times a day. So you do five total closes with your right, and then five closes with your left, and then you do it again later in the day, or you just do it once a day, whatever works with your schedule. But the more you practice just a full close and just hold it and re release, the faster you're going to increase your grip strength. Lastly, is to do forced closes and negatives. And so right here, I'm going to take up the number three. The number three requires like 280 pounds of pressure to close. This is like strongman territory. But if I close it on my own, as far as I can, and then use my other hand as an assisted close, it helps increase the tension in your hand and builds up the strength even faster. So I've been practicing with the number three in order to close the number two, or to help me close the number two. I hope you enjoyed this overview. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you do. Also, I encourage you to check out BuiltLean.com. We have hundreds of articles that are research-based and medically reviewed to help you reach your potential. Thanks again for watching, and hope to see you again soon.